Sony has slowly been rolling out additional PS5 related information as we are now less than one month away from the release of the console. And today was a big day for PlayStation with the revealing of the user interface of the console. Now, while things like the PS5 teardown video didn't do too much for me in terms of excitement as I'm not really a tech head and I don't really care about the size of a fan, seeing the user interface was definitely a lot more interesting because it of course shows us how we're going to be playing and interacting with the PlayStation 5 system. And honestly, we learned a ton of stuff today about the PS5, including new features and more that make me very excited for what this system is capable of, so let's just jump into it. What's up guys, I'm RGT85, if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, but without any further ado, we need to talk about this PlayStation 5 interface video, because I think it was very impressive stuff, and we're going to break it down for you piece by piece. So as this video starts up, the first thing you're going to notice is the icons that are displayed on the screen. And honestly, I think they look very nice. They have rounded edges as opposed to just standard squares that we see pretty much on every other system. The bottom of the interface has your main things that you commonly see on PlayStation 5 systems, like seeing who is online, checking download speeds and whatnot of things that you're downloading, your controller power level, and much more. Now, the new main feature of the PlayStation 5 user interface are these things called cards and there's a whole variety of different cards and I think they're actually very very interesting because it sort of opens up the possibilities of what you could do with the PlayStation 5 system. You could do things like get information on what your friends are doing, get information on games themselves from official developer stories, and much more. So I think it's a very versatile system that is further explained as the video goes on. The PlayStation 5 also allows you to do activities within these cards, which is seriously a very impressive feature. Activities essentially break down the things that you have to do within the game in order to complete things in the game by giving you various hints. Now, these hints are actually given to you by the developers themselves. It shows you an estimated progress on the section of the game that you are in as well and tells you basically what you need to do in order to get your progress up to 100% in order to complete the level. I think one of the coolest things is that it does is that it actually tells you an estimated time for completing the level or the mission that you are in, which is really seriously insane because it allows you to sort of budget your time in a way that you probably haven't thought of before. At times in certain sections of certain games, you can actually jump into that part of the level that you are in and get to that point that you need to get to in order to complete the level by using the activity menu as well. And like I said, it'll basically tell you what you need to do in order to complete the activity, but maybe you need a little bit something more. Maybe you need an actual frequently asked questions or just some help in general. Well, if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you can actually get official game help for some of the games from the developers themselves with these official hints in order to figure out what you need to do. And they're actually pretty robust. The one that they showed off was, of course, for the Sackboy game, and you can actually pull up a video of what needs to be done in order to complete the level and you can actually watch it side by side with your gameplay screen or put it in a small corner of the screen as well and that's something that the cards really bring to the table is the ability to have multiple picture in picture things going on at once on your PlayStation 5 either while you're playing games or while you're searching through the user interface or searching through the PlayStation store you can always have something going on within picture in picture and while picture in picture kind of faded away on televisions I don't really know many people that use it anymore I've never really thought to use it in a video game console, and once you think about it, it's actually quite ingenious of what this can bring to the table. I think this whole little hints feature that the PlayStation 5 is bringing to the table is actually very, very impressive. A lot of people were worried that these hints were going to be charged money based on patents that we saw when this development was happening with the PlayStation 5 as far as what the patent said it was going to do, but I'm glad to see that this is just integrated into games. Obviously, your mileage is going to vary from game to game with some of these things some developers probably won't use it at all but it's definitely a very cool little thing the next thing they talked about was of course the party chat with the PlayStation 5 now of course Sony supposedly is listening to all of your conversations so you know you might want to be a little bit leery about that there was a big story about that yesterday but of course you can use the integrated mic with your PlayStation 5 controller in order to access simple voice chat or you can use one of the various headsets now one of the cool things once again comes with the screen share feature 
feature. That whole picture in picture thing that is used for games themselves can also be used when you're in a party. You can actually pull up a video of what your friends are playing if they decide to share a video and you can watch them play their game in picture in picture while you're playing your game. And once again, you can move it around the screen. You could change the size of the video as well. And you could put it side by side if you want to do that. And you can literally watch your friend play a game or a different game than you're playing while you're playing your own game. So once again, a very, very impressive feature. I could see this being very handy if you get stuck in a game and maybe the PlayStation thing doesn't have any sort of hints for you, but your friend has already beat it and they can be like, oh yeah, look, this is how you do it. So I think that's another very, very cool feature and really shows the power and the diversity of the PlayStation 5 system itself. You can also use the cards that pop up on the screen in order to join online multiplayer games with your friends. And of course, there's a whole capture system, much like a lot of systems have now that are on the market. You can capture pictures and video natively on the PlayStation 5. But what's very impressive about the capture system on the PlayStation 5 has to be the fact that you can capture your pictures and your videos in up to 4k on this system natively so i think that's going to really increase visual fidelity and stuff like that you can obviously just capture some gameplay or pictures now really you got to remember 4k video can be very sizable so you're going to fill up your memory very quickly on the playstation 5 that beautiful ssd ultra fast memory system but it is nice to have that feature if you just want to do like a little clip of something up in 4k and to wrap things off they showed off the home screen which honestly has a very clean and non cluttered look it looks a lot more it kind of reminds me more of the playstation 3 than the playstation 4 the playstation 4 screen got kind of cluttered once you know you got into it and i still don't really like it all that much there's actually an explore tab on the playstation 5 that lets you look at official stories from the game developers and sony themselves and trending media that is being shared so kind of like a mini integrated twitter on your own playstation 5 system they did say that this feature wouldn't roll out on day one some people would have access to it some people wouldn't but it will be something more that they're going to explore in the future another very positive thing is that the PlayStation 5 store is now integrated into the user interface and isn't a separate app or anything like that on the PlayStation 4 of course you have to bring up the PlayStation store and it was a separate app and sometimes it was slow and sluggish but on the PlayStation 5 it's actually built into the user interface and they did say that it will be a lot quicker and then they wrap up the presentation by showing you how you can share the media that you've captured on the PlayStation 5 so so all in all, this was a lot more impressive to me and a lot more interesting to me than the PlayStation 5 teardown video because like I said, I don't really care about the tech side of things as long as things work and the system doesn't catch on fire and burn down my house or anything like that. Like I'm cool with it. I want to see how it's going to impact games that I'm playing. I want to see what sort of new features they're going to bring to the table. And I think Sony showed off a lot of really cool things today. The ability to just pull up hints on the fly. I think that's a real game changer for a lot of people if you get stuck in a game i think you know having the sort of estimated time as well to how long this is going to complete for people is yet another really key feature that's going to sort of become a standard thing i think sony was very innovative with these cards and what you could do with these cards and the ability to screen share with your friends and watch your friend play another game like it's all very impressive and one thing that they didn't even really highlight in this video but if you watch the video you notice is that there's a quick resume for all of these playstation 5 games that gets you very quickly into the action and I think that's another very impressive thing because of course that is what Microsoft has been touting with the Xbox Series X so heavily is the quick resume feature and Sony didn't even really talk about it they just sort of showed it nonchalantly in this video that you do have the ability to quick resume in this game and it's just as fast if not even a little bit faster than the Xbox Series X from what we've seen so far now of course this was a very controlled presentation it wasn't just something done by some random guy on the internet it was an official Sony presentation themselves so they could sort of hide things a bit better but all in all I thought this was a very impressive demo of the user interface for the PlayStation 5 it really packs a lot of features it has a lot of new things as well so I just wanted to share my thoughts on it like I said I of course have a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox Series X coming in so I win either way I get to play both of these systems but I think Sony did a very good job this morning of showcasing off their user interface and really making people excited for it so let me know in the comments section down below what you 
you thought of the PlayStation 5 user interface little presentation this morning? It was actually a state of play event. They ca um, categorized it as a state of play event, which I don't know. You could have just put up the video. But yeah, let me know what you thought of it in the comments section down below. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Check out other videos on the channel as well. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.